Hello everybody, my name's Sharpie and I believe this is episode 3 of Dragon. so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Continue. Now, let's see what happened in the last episode. Uh, we found the sister's hat, and then we found the body. The body was the big turning point of the story, so let's see what fun stuff we have in store for us today. Mm, fun stuff? More demons? It's only been three days and these people have seen some crazy schnazza. Why does it feel like the house is creaking? Touch. Do I still look the same? Yes, I do. Still as weird as ever. Anything out the window that I should be worried about? No, okay. Is there anything? Let's see. Excuse me, open the door. Ready? So, is that you? This is the first time we're going upstairs. What's all this stuff? This is all in cursive. This is a lot to read, so I'm just going to leave it here on screen for a second. So if anybody wants to read it, they can. Okay, that's enough time. Ooh, look, even more writing, and it looks, I guess that was just a glitch with the page. So go ahead and pause it if you want to read it. Okay. Oh, I can press R to read. Whoopsies. Oh. Can I play the piano? Ooh, I can. Dragon Waltz. Interesting little song. Didn't exactly have a piano man. It just gave me an achievement called Piano Man. Draw. What am I drawing? Why do I still have read on my uh, screen? What am I going to be reading? Ooh, look, I draw the, drew the little thing. I can't get rid of the reed down here. I'm not sure why it's there. Gosh. I always forget how pretty the game is. Can I draw anything out here? 
Nope, but I can zoom with my laser vision. No? Okay. Anything in here? You know, I don't think I found a bathroom in this house yet. That's a little weird. Is there anything in here? Why, well, hello there, Jesus. That looks like something I can't read. Look at that one little plant up there. There's no point to coming in here, is there? This is her room. Hmm? Are you paying attention? Ruth. Can you imagine? One moment you're living a perfectly happy life, and then... Nothing. Darkness. Forever and ever. Maybe there's something here that can tell us what happened to her. This is a waste of my time. We might be the only ones left to tell her story, Edward. You're just being melodramatic. I'll help you look. Come on, old bean. There's still no sign of the Frontlands. She made her bed that morning. Before she... Or her parents did. It doesn't matter. It tells us nothing. Why are you like this today? Betty's not the only person in the world that matters. But she matters, she matters to, me. to me. Ain't that the truth? Ruth was an artist. This is very primitive. Is that say forbidden? Have you ever met a child, Edward? She wasn't I think that means forbidden. She was eight. Ruth never finished this. What does that spell? F O R B. For Bannelson. The curse. Who is that figure supposed the to? The curse. Be? Oh. It's creepy. The Never mind. Her imagination. But the my context she clues did. failed me. It looks like this box under her desk. Really? Let me see. Pull it out. I don't think we should open it. There could be demons in there. I don't want to open it. I guess we have to. What is this? I believe That's this the pin. might qualify as actual treasure. Is that Norwegian money? Sort of, but ancient. Viking coins. Viking. Are they valuable? Not in terms of monetary value, but historically. Well, they belong in a museum. Looks like Ruth had her own private museum. Why would a child have these artifacts? She must have enjoyed collecting and playing with them. These are much too precious to play with. She should have given these to an adult. She's... She was a child, Edward. To her, they were just shiny toys. Wait! The pin! On the doll! Yes, this is where it came from. Her collection. But the loading symbol. These treasures? A dig, a gravesite. Wherever she found them, the mine. She wanted to keep them hidden. You think someone Ooh, found that out? creepy. These items wouldn't necessarily be worth much, except to a historian or archaeologist. What if this is how? I mean, if someone learned she'd been collecting treasures, they might be willing to do terrible things. Yes, they might be so inclined to do so. Book? Picture book. Hey, the undead monster from those folk tales you read. What an odd book for a child to have. I don't know. That doesn't sound like a game I want to be playing. Stories. This looks interesting. Read some of it to me, please. Would you kindly? In Norwegian folklore, the appearance of Draugen reanimated corpse of a drowned mariner heralds death draugen haunts the black seas in a shattered boat 
The beast has a man's body and wears a sou'wester. But instead of a head, there is tangled seaweed. And the revenant's chilling cry freezes mortal blood to ice. Draugen has the power to enter the dreams of the living. If you wake from such a dream, you have been spared. Though someone close to you... Someone close to you, what? To that. It's nonsense, of course. Not something a child should be reading. Do you think Draugen took our boat? Maybe he's out there. On the fjord. Waiting for nightfall so he can return to shore. No. And... Your soul lacks po- She made her bed that morning. Whoops. Before she- Or her parents did. It doesn't matter. It tells us nothing. Why are you like this today? Betty's not the only person in the world that matters. She matters the most to me. Ain't that the truth? New picture. That must be Ruth and Simon's fathers. Perhaps. They weren't on the best of terms. They look like they want to kill each other. To a child, How would you hang this picture up? Children are more insightful than you give them credit for, Teddy Bear. This must be the village church. That's Ruth and her family on one side of the aisle. Simon and his father on the other. The community divided. Gosh, that doll's still creepy to me. I'm confused. What else is there? Oh, this one. She found something. Where's that supposed to be? The cave. Or the... Mine. It could be. But what did she find? Her Viking treasure. Of course. There's a story here. The treasure box. The drawings. The overactive mind of an imaginative child. Well, she didn't imagine the Viking artifacts. You shouldn't be so dismissive. The drawings could be her way of dealing with traumatic events. This is events. what happens when I read you the principles of psychology. You get notions. You say that like it's a bad thing. Ruth was troubled. The village was troubled. And is that a bell? The church, church bell. bell. Someone's here. Maybe Betty. Why would Betty ring the church bell? Perhaps she's um, in trouble. Don't you push me. I need to get to the church right now. Wait, isn't it more likely to be the person you saw the other night? We I told you, I'm not sure that was anything. Come on. Go ahead. I'll catch up with you before you get there. By catch up, you mean teleport to me. Let's see, the quickest way is going to be this way. I think I've already read that notice. All these fresh graves. Do you think that uh, no one's touched these since yesterday? Regardless of how they got past the boards, there's someone in there. Who did this? Someone had lost their faith. Gone fishing? God is not here. Well, of course he isn't. You won't find God in a church. God is the wind in the trees. The grass between your toes. The brook that That's runs through. That's nature, not God. Can you peek through the boards? See anyone? No. Listen. I... The bell. They're still in there. I feel like this is a good time for a jump scare. Hello? I heard the bell. This is giving me I'm here to help. Jeebies. 
Me too. These boards look flimsy enough to break. Shoo. Strong like bull. Look at that. The Ethel becomes an Edward. I didn't think you had it in you, old fruit. Be quiet. Old fruit. Betty? Are you here? Hello? This is Edward Harden. Uh, I'm looking for my sister, Stop Elizabeth. Stop shouting, Edward. We're alone. There are only ghosts here. The <clears throat> What's this rope for? The bell. This is the bell we heard ringing? I don't see any other bells. So you have to stand here and pull this rope to ring it? Yes. But there was no one here. You didn't see anyone, right? Not a single no one. one. No one. Ghosts. I'm tired. Lissy. Look. It's her gloves. Betty's gloves. They are definitely Betty's. Oh, she got sake. these in Boston before she left for New York. She bought them at Woolworth. I remember the day she... She's here. Where? And why would she leave her clothes lying around? It doesn't make Bread sense. Crumbs. She's sending me a message. She knew I'd recognize her gloves. Her hat. She's left a trail for me to follow, like... Ariadne's red thread. We're not in the lab. Betty will have left more crumbs. Betty, 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 you're turning into such a pill. Someone's a little salty. What happened here? The sign on the door. God is not here. Their faith was challenged. And it didn't survive. Edoed. Or Edoed. A record of births and deaths. So we can find out what happened to the people in the village? And, uh, Elizabeth. I mean, if she was dead... Her name would be in the book. What was that? Vandals. They tore it to pieces. I don't think the missing pages left the church. Look. What's that? The last sermon that was held here. What does it say? Uh, the vicar's handwriting is hard to decipher in the language. Uh, hmm. He talks about the village being divided for 20 years. This sermon was held on the anniversary of the accident this past summer. He's asking the congregation to help heal old wounds, to forgive move on something to the effect of you sit in separate aisles in god's house like ruth's drawing i told you she was perceptive forgiveness Tilly edward forgive each other it addresses johan and frederick directly but i wonder if they were even here well, they were twin brothers they must have been close once. Yeah, once. How could they allow their grudge to escalate until... <sighs> you call each other traitors, but the only thing you've betrayed are the bonds that unite us. It sounds like Grovik was split in two. Between those who stood by Johan and those who supported Frederick. Because of Ruth? The sermon is from before that. No, this is all about the preceding 20 years of division and disagreements. Hmm. Here's something else. Many of you believe Grovik was cursed 20 years ago. God has not cursed you. This curse is of your own making. Ruth's drawing mentioned a curse. What are these wood sounds? What do you think that someone means? else here. It means they believed they were cursed and that they needed something or someone to blame for their misfortune. People always blame whatever they can. Isn't this a fire hazard? They're not always lit. Each candle represents a single prayer. That's a lot of prayers. There were a lot of deaths. They considered this a sacred place. For them to destroy it. This was an act of desperation. And anger.
I've never seen you read the Bible before. I've read the Bible many times. It's an important historical document. For he is our peace, who hath made both one, and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us. Did you just translate that into Old English? I happen to know the verse by heart. Hmm. You still manage to surprise me sometimes. Jesus looks sad. What reason would Jesus have to be happy? Don't be blasphemous. Given that this is all fiction, blasphemy is a contradiction. Heretic. Is there something else to do here? We need to find all the pages. Oh. How many pages are missing? I counted four. They're probably all still here. I know. Let's make it a competition. One nil to team me. I wanted you to find that one. <laughs> I know what a rotten loser you are. The final dinner. The last supper. That isn't the last supper. The Testament. I pick up on things. Most folks I mean, I guess it may be a depiction of it, but that's not the one by Da Vinci. Found another one. You get it. It's right here. Just one more page missing. Oh my goodness, I found it. That took way longer than it needed. Tie. Good job, Teddy. Stop, old bean. Lucy. This is not a game. Betty's out there. Oh, of course, feathers. Stop being so gosh darn tedious, Edward. Betty, 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 will you ever shut up about your precious Betty? He Put misses those pages her. back in the book, and I'll stop trying to cheer you up. This book goes back years. It lists births and deaths. Here's the third Fretland brother. The one who died in a cave-in. Someone added the word for Banelson, probably quite recently. What does that mean again? Curse. That word is all over this book. Not just the men who died in the mine, but other deaths in the last 20 years. Creepy, Luke's creepy, creepy. And the sermon both mentioned a curse. What do you think it means? I don't know. There were surprisingly few births. Perhaps they blame that on the curse as well. Where do you get the tape for this? Look here. Oh. Ruth Elsa Fretland. She was buried in the cemetery. And the next entry, Simon Fretland. Now this is interesting. Simon is dead? Oh, that's dreadful. He drowned the day after Ruth died. Probably no coincidence. What is for odds scribbled next to it? Mord? Murder. Who killed him? Ruth's father? Or the mob that trashed the store? It doesn't say. After the children, a half dozen deaths in a single week. The curse. It's listed as the cause for every single death. Maybe there really was a curse. Primitive superstition. But something changed after Ruth and Simon. It might explain why there's no one around. Edward, if it killed everyone, how's that not a curse? That is what true. Edward say? Next to those names at the bottom. For Otter. For... For a dark... Traitor. Traitor. Edward? What's wrong? The final entry. There's... There's no name. Alice. What if... Oh, Edward, oh, no. no. Betty. It doesn't mean she's... She's not dead she can't be i'd know i'd know Teddy. i need to see the grave for myself it's not betty but betty's still alive teddy where are you going don't leave me edward you better not be here betty i'll never forgive you where would her grave be What are you doing? How 
Oh gun. goodness. Edward, stop it. Not Elizabeth. I, I was so afraid. You're a monster. But I had to be sure. If Betty. To hell with your Betty! When did she ever shed a tear for you? Don't talk about my baby sister or like what? that. Or what? Or what, Edward? What will you do? Ignore us? Banish us? You've spent your entire life chasing her. When are you going to do something useful with what's left of it? Uh, quiet! Just leave me be. Fine. Lucy? Alice? Come back. Don't leave me alone. Please. Come back. I, I need you. So, I can only assume her name is Lizzie, because that's short for Elizabeth. So he's envisioning his younger sister. Maybe this is him trying to cope with something? I was afraid you left me. Now listen to me. No! Oh, I don't have much time to t talk to her. I thought I had time for a second. Listen. No, don't leave hey. me. Listen, please listen to me. I didn't mean what I said. I. I... Oh. I guess I need to click stay. Everything's always about Betty. Betty, Betty. I care about you both. Until it really matters. Then it's obvious who matters more. I thought she was dead. I wish she was! Don't. You deserve to be alone. What is happening? Goodness. Please, talk to me. What's there to talk about? You can't keep running away from me. You think you own me? That you control me? That you get to decide how I feel and what I do every minute of every day? That I'm your puppet? Your little plaything? Well, fuck you, Edward Charles Harden! I never should have come here with you on this... Pointless chain. Now, be reasonable. Lizzie. Alice. No. No, no. What are you doing? What I should have done years ago. If she... Now you'll learn to appreciate this. Now listen to me. Please, listen. Hear me out. Don't do this. You can't do this to me. I need you. I'm not whole without you. I, I can't lose you. I, I can't live without you. Don't, 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 please, don't, don't, no, 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 no! What? No! Father would be ashamed. 
Elizabeth would be ashamed. They did not think you deserved their love, so they abandoned you. Don't. Oh, my child. We are all that you have. And we love you. We are here. With us, you are never alone. Do not forget. No, I... Never. Never. I never forget. I am never alone. What just happened? Wake up, Edward. Stop hiding. Without us, you are nothing. You cannot hide from us. Where's Lissy? Alice is not here. Bring her back. Please. I need her. Alice does not love Elizabeth like you do. She loves me. Not like I do, Edward. I'm so tired. Please. I think of you so often. You have no idea. You just want me to forgive you so that we can keep looking for your precious, perfect Betty. She needs us. <laughs> she never needed you, Teddy Bear. And she certainly doesn't need us. I can't find her on my own. It's just too bad, my darling Edward. Because we're done playing second fiddle to little sis. Wait, don't go. Ah. Huh? Go away, Windows Update. I'm, I'm talking to... To you. Lissy. Oh. I can only look in the mirror. I'm so stunned about everything. Lissy? Please. Listen. You can't keep vanishing on me. Try me. Why are you so angry? You do not know anger, Edward. Did you ever meet my father? Alice does not want to speak with you. And what about you? Are you going to help me? God helps those who help themselves. I don't need God's help. I need Lissy. Do you, though? Did you ever? What? Of course, I... Can someone please explain to me what's going on? I guess I can't go this way. Alice, hear me out. Don't go. I depend on you both. You can never depend on other people, Edward. I'm not sure you count as other people. Everyone leaves one way or another. You don't. You can't. Is that a challenge? Stop playing games. Are you ordering me, Teddy Bear? I'm asking you. 
Didn't your father always tell you to stand up for yourself? To be a real man and not a sissy? Maybe that's why he put the gun to his head and pulled the trigger. Kaboom! What? He's so disappointed about what his only son had turned into. You're a monster. It takes one to know one. Old fruit. What is happening? Oh my gosh. See, I'm tired of chasing you. I'm trying to talk to you. Alice, be reasonable. What is that thing off into Listen, the corner? Look, her jacket. I'm sure it wasn't here yesterday, Jesus which means Christ, Betty was Teddy. here. Perhaps when we were out yesterday. Betty, she must Be have... Betty, 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 Betty. Whoa. You love Betty more than you love us. But don't you see? What has Betty done that we haven't? What can she do that we cannot? We've always been there for you. Why do you keep looking for her? She's real. You're not. So? What? You decide what is real. We are real to you. We'll never be the same. She does not want you. Who are you talking Why about? do you think Betty left? She was sick and tired of us. She wanted to escape. Like mother. Drowning herself because she couldn't stand being around us. Like father. Bang, right in the coconut. Stop. You drive them all away, Edward. All into death. Please. Not us. We're always here for you. I beg you. You are never alone. Stop. Leave me alone, both of you! You want to be alone? You really want to be alone? Fine. Be alone. Good. Lissy. What is happening? What? Goodness gracious. you it's snowing 
Whew. Well, after all that craziness, I think I'm going to have to call it here. So, thank you everybody for watching, and if you liked the video, leave a like. If you disliked it, dislike it. But please, leave a comment and tell me what the heck is going on here. So much death. Oh my goodness. Well, regardless, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.